Hello and welcome to Food Tech 101. Now, as you could probably or possibly guess, I'm back in my classroom, but today there are no students in. So I thought I'd take this as a take this opportunity to sort of do one of my food experiments. Now there's a practical I did uh, or a video I did about a year and a half, almost two years ago now, back in 2018, where I um, explored how to make Rice Krispies from home. Now, what I'd done, I'd seen some videos of people that, that looked like they were in rural India, and uh, I was just amazed by their ingenuity and how they can make this popular product, but without any real technical bits of equipment or machinery. Now, Rice Krispies, you would think, is just rice, gone through a process of allowing it to puff up. In some cases, they can be. Actual Rice Krispies, I think, are not made like that. I think actual Rice Krispies are a mixture of uh, rice made into a paste with chemicals and with flavorings and sugar added and made into little pellets and then explode and then heated so they, they puff up and it's it's quite a process. Well you can just make Rice Krispies from actual rice and I watched them doing this uh, in these raw videos. Now the first time I did the video um, I wasn't quite sure exactly what they were doing. I was watching it, but there was no instructions and it wasn't in English. So I was watching it, looking at different methods, but unsure of why they were doing what they were doing. Now, since then, I posted a video and it's, it's gone semi-viral. It's had over 60, almost 70, over 70,000 views. And a lot of people who commented are people from India saying, well, actually, you use this technique, but maybe this technique might work better. So based on their feedback and also me exploring um, different methods of cooking uh, on on Google and on Wikipedia, I have now figured out exactly what they're doing in a video. And it's much simpler and much easier than what I thought it was. So this time, I'm gonna have a go at making Rice Krispies again, um, not at home at school, but Rice Krispies from home, um, but using a better method, a healthier method, and an easier method. Before we get started, just do me a quick favor. Click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. So you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Okay, let's get to it. Now let me just remind you, I'll talk you through the different stages that I watched in the various videos I watched, because I watched so many videos because I wanted to really understand how this process worked. Now, step one, when I was looking at this video, and I'll, and I'll show the video as I'm going through this, was it was like a, a set of rural Indian setting, and they're in like a, I'm not quite sure what Kerry described, it wasn't quite a factory, but maybe the rural equivalent of a factory. And there's a woman sitting on the floor uh, and she had a tub with some rice in it. And she, put, she was putting water in, it, watering in water, a small amount of water in the rice and mixing it around, mixing it around. And I, and I couldn't figure out, well, what on earth is that little, that little tiny bit of water being mixed around through the rice gonna do? And then from that mix a bit, little bit of water in the rice, they transferred it to an, another section where they dried it out. And for the adding of the water and drying out, I couldn't figure out exactly what that was all about. I now know what it was about. What they were doing was a form of par boiling the rice. Sometimes you get, you get rice, easy cooked rice or different forms of rice, and they've been par cooked. So they've been heated in liquid, par cooked, and then fully dried out. So it's almost like short cutting the heat, the, the cooking process. Rice typically takes about, depending on what kind of rice it is, it can take anything from half an hour to an hour. If you have some really uh, whole grain rice, that can take um, maybe up to an hour or more to cook all the way through properly. Uh, some white rices, uh, they can take about 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, but when you parboil rice, you part cook it, you, you cut the cooking time, time down by about half because you're half cooking it, then drying it back out and then selling it as a dried product so it doesn't take as much heating, uh, as much cooking. And that's what they were doing, I figured it out now. So, parboiling. Now the parboiled rice, you can do it in two, two different ways. You can just bob it in some boiling water, basically half cook it, so it starts to get a tiny little bit soft, drain it off and dry it off. You can dry it off by leaving it out or you can dry it off by putting it in an oven um, to heat out, to heat off. There's different ways of doing it. With whole grain rice, you could put boiling water on it, leave it overnight, it'll swell up a little bit and then completely dry it out again. There are lots of different methods to parboiling, but you can even buy parboiled rice. And I'll give you some good links to where you can get some of these products I talk about in the video below. So. Step one, power boil some rice, dry it out, or you can start off with power boiled rice as I'm going to do in this video here. So the first part, they were par boiling the rice. I didn't understand that. Bit of water mixing it around, drying it off. I was thinking, what on earth is that gonna do? It's par boiling or part cooking the rice. That's stage one. The next stage now, which looks I'm figuring out, is that they had what appeared to be sand. It looked like sand to my eyes. 
and they were heating it up in, in like a giant wok type container thing and then they were putting in this rice uh, and then it just go pop 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 and it, it start to, to pop up and the rice krispies are like no way is that is that is that for real but it actually is and i'm going to show you now as i was researching i discovered that some uh, parts of the world use a, the same process and they use actual sand now i tried it with sand and it does work um, but i found that when i was doing it with sand it was difficult to, to, sep to fully sift off all the sand from the rice um, so you end up with a little bit of sand on it but the sand process does work and then some other people, when I was uh, on the video, uh, lots of other people commented and said you can use, they use salt. In India, they use salt. So what I did, I've, I've got some black salt. Now I'll tell you the importance of black salt um, uh, in a minute. Um, but you, again, I'll leave the link to where you can get uh, this particular product uh, in the description below so you can buy some black salt. It's like baking salt. You don't actually use it as an ingredient, you just bake in it. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But the benefit of using black salt is that when you put the rice in it and it explodes or it, it, uh, it puffs up, it's white. So if you use white salt, it's difficult to see the salt from the actual puffed rice itself. So black rice, it's just, it's kind of preheated in some cases and it's black. So it's just regular salt, but it's black, um, which is a little bit hard to come by. And then you could just use it to cook in. And then when it's cooled down, just pour it off back into a container, stick it in the cupboard for when you want to do it next time. So I've got some black salt with me now. Again, I'll leave the description uh, in the link below. And the process is really stupid simple. Once you know how to do it, it's really simple. Parboiled rice, preheat your sand, put your uh, rice in, mix it around. The rice should go pop, 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 pop. If it's at the right temperature, you get a sieve. Now, the sieve parts are very important. The sieve should have, should be the perfect size so that you can scoop the stuff out and it can very very quickly drain off the excess salt so you can put it to one side because as you'll discover that if you're scooping it out and it takes you too long to get the rice grains out they'll simply overcook and they'll burn quite quickly so i've got a so i've sourced all these different all these different components i've put together a little bit of a rice home rice crispy making kit i'll also have step-by-step -step instructions so just check out the link below let's call it my first food tech 101 product i'm quite excited about that so now, without further ado, I'm going to quickly uh, actually make some before your eyes so you can see I am legit. Okay, let's do it. Step one, I put my black salt in. Um, and then the first step is you've got to heat it. And it's important that it's heated really hot, otherwise you won't get the reaction. So to give you an idea, I normally just gauge it. And if, if in doubt, you can throw a rice grain in to see how it pops up. But if, if, you, are, if you have a temperature gauge, you're looking at a temperature around about over... 210. Now the good thing about using salt in this way is that it's, it's not going to burn, so it's not going to suddenly burst into flames. So it's heated up really high. I check the temperature. Next stage is to actually throw out our rice in, and it should go pop, 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 pop. And next thing you know, we should have a bowl full of rice krispies. So let's see how much rice krispies we actually get from this tiny, about two spoonfuls of rice. And this will give you an idea of how much product these guys make off just a relatively small amount of, of actual ingredients. So here's roughly our two spoonfuls of rice. Let's see how much we get out of it. So I'm going to have to work quickly because once it's at this temperature, it will go from raw to cook to burn pretty quick. So we've got to work really fast. So here we go. Put it in. Hear it. So we can see it and we can hear it, boom. Look at that, just like magic. No fancy machine, like I've seen some people firing it through like a cannon. No, boom, look at that. Look how much we got from that. Use our special sieve, boom. Just like that. Perfect Rice Krispies, completely natural. Nothing added, nothing taken away, no additives. Look at that. Boom. Now, if some of them are a little bit overcooked, you can bin the ones that get a little bit overcooked because the ones that are left in at the bottom, they're, they're, in, they're in the heat the longest. So if they're a little bit too dark, you can always just bin those. So I'm gonna bin those ones. And then we check to see, yeah, see there's a few more in here. Again, 
Just sieve that, sieve that off, a little bit overdone. We can just put them away just like that. And there we go. And what have we got? I'm going to zoom the camera out so you can see exactly how much rice crispies we've got from, a, from two spoonfuls of rice. And there we go. So, two spoonfuls of rice. Two spoonfuls of rice. And look what we've got. A whole bowl of rice crispies. Let's actually put it in a bowl to see an actual breakfast bowl to see exactly how many bowls of rice crispies we can get. Now from our two spoonfuls of literal rice, raw rice grains, right, our pre our par boiled rice, we have two bowls of rice krispies. What would be considered a regular portion size? Now you could probably squash one up into the other, but you wouldn't by the time you put milk in there, you wouldn't have that much. So we've got literally two portions of actual rice krispies. Now before I try, try it, what's amazing with this is that um, when you actually look at all the ingredients in actual Rice Krispies, uh, the sugar and the salt and this and then that, and then when you, when you actually explore further and see the process that they use to actually make it, it's crazy. When you think that, from watching this video based in rural India, they've got a Rice Krispies product which looks, smells, and... Mm. Wow. That's incredible. Looks, smells, and tastes like Rice Krispies. And now, oh, this is lovely. They don't have, they've got a tiny little slight salt flavor on it because of, the, because of what you cooked it in, which is, which is just lovely. But um, if you put it with milk and a bit of sugar, and I gave it to somebody, they would not tell, I don't think, that, they, that, that I'd made this product. And from just two spoonfuls of rice, I've got two bowls of Rice Krispies. That's crazy. So it makes you realize just how much, or rather, how little actual product is in a whole box of Rice Krispies and exactly how much money that, that, that they make per, per box. And what's interesting is that you can really make it naturally. This is just pure rice that's been heated. That's crazy. Pure rice that's been heated and this is, we're getting closer. These are delicious, perfectly cooked Rice Krispies. Be eaten as a snack. Mm. Oh. Use a snack or use it as a product to make something. So there you go. Thank you, India, because if I didn't see those videos of you guys doing it in, in that rural setting, I'd have had no idea that you can make such a, a tasty cereal product in such a simple way using simple methods. No chemicals, no big machinery involved, just simple ingredients. So once more, if you wanna try this yourself, you can, you, obviously you can go and buy all these ingredients individually. I'll leave a link to, to this in the description because I'm gonna to put together a little bit of a kit that makes it a little bit interesting. So I've, I've sourced a, a sieve, which is a perfect um, mesh size to strain off the sand. Um, I've got, I'll source some, some black salt uh, and some special parboiled rice. I'm gonna to put together a kit along with step-by-step -step instructions so you can make this simple product yourself or you can give it as a gift. Okay, it's fun to do. Mmm. So I can't stop eating really Moorish. As always, in order for me to give out maximum respect, I'm gonna leave links to some of the videos that I use to help me learn how to make this particular product. Because I saw some wonderful videos, not all of them were in English, so I had to sort of figure it out. That plus a little bit of Wikipedia. So I'm gonna leave some links to some of the videos uh, in the description below. I'm gonna leave a link to everything I've used um, to, the, to the scoop. I'm gonna to put together an actual um, Rice Krispie making kit that you can buy. So you have all the ingredients, the black salt, the parboiled rice, the special scoop, which is just really quick to be able to scoop it out. I'm gonna put that together and leave that also a link to how you can get hold of that in the description below. So, I've got a really good feeling about this one. Let's crank this one up to a million views. I, I'm that serious. I'm that excited about it. I love, I love learning, learning stuff. So I'm that excited about this one. Let's crank it up. Uh, next, I'm gonna have a go. There's no stopping me now. I figured out how to make Rice Krispies. Next, I'm gonna have a go at, at uh, cornflakes. I'm gonna make some cornflakes. That might take a little bit more work, but I'm gonna try cornflakes. I'm gonna go brown flakes. In fact, I'm gonna do a whole series on how to make your own cereal. Look out for that. As always, my name is Mr. Lybird, but you can call me Sir. Yeah.